This is called the three push profit taking rule. Now, remember, guys, I'm assuming that you know when to buy, you know what to buy. But after you have bought what you know to buy, rule number two gives you the right to take profits after what I call three pushes. This is called the three push profit rule. Let's delve into it. Now, the three, pro the three push profit rule states that after three sudden individual bursts of new highs in your profits, you earn the right, not the obligation ever, to take a profit. We want, let's, let's assume that you have entered your play here. Boom. You're protecting yourself here. I teach my traders, always protect yourself under the item that you have bought. So if we have bought this item, we're protecting ourselves under that item. Now, anything from our entry price, if we get, that's push one, that's push two, and push three right here, you have earned the right to take, you have earned the second right now you can take it all. You see, remember the 30 to 50 cent, you earn a partial right. Here you've earned the full right. You are fully rich now. You can take it all. Here are your choices. You can take a portion or you can decide, I'm not taking anything. I think this is higher. You have earned that right, traders. You are rich. And in this world, when you are rich, you have choices. When you are not rich, you don't have choices. All right. So once you hit a $300 gain, you must have something in your plan that says, I now go home with one with no less than $150 to be up $300 and to lose it all is to be a freaking idiot to be up $300 and lose not only all of the $300 gain, but then to go negative 300, which means you had a $600 turnaround, you shouldn't even be allowed, all right? The honor and the privilege to ever walk into a financial market again, ever. Not only is this being an idiot and being stupid, it is the highest level of irresponsibility. How? It's hard enough to become profitable. How is it that you become profitable and you throw it in the garbage? Like I would never give you a, I wouldn't give you a half a penny of my money. I wouldn't give you a Satoshi. Do you understand how small a Satoshi is right now? It won't stay small, but you understand how small it is? I wouldn't give you one single Satoshi because I know that if you can take $300 and turn it into a negative $300, you can take 3,000 and turn it into negative 3,000. And you can take 30,000 and turn it into negative 30,000. And you can take 3 million and turn it into negative 3 million. Those zeros at the end of those numbers, those extra zeros don't change you. Do you understand? You are dangerous. This is something that you should write down, all right? Something you should write down. That's a big hint. This should become a rule in your trading book of rules. Don't take profits on big fat bars. Take profits below big fat red bars and take profits above big fat green bars, but do not take profits on fat bars. Let me repeat it again. Do not take profits on fat bars. Do not take profits on fat bars. Now, this is m more difficult than it sounds because a fat bar has exploded your profits. And so many people, many traders get affected by that huge pop in their profits and they take, but that's the Actually, you're shortchanging yourself. So look at when David took all of the plays off right here. He's taking it on a fat bar and he's missed an additional fat bar. He's actually missed two bars, right? So after this fat bar, he missed this and this. That's huge, 
right? Um, so if, if you don't take profits on fat bars, look at what happens to this trade. You don't get out on this bar. You don't get out on this bar. You actually get out on that bar. That rule makes you richer. All right, you guys understand that? No getting out on fat bars. No getting out on fat bars. Let me know. I want to see that you understand that. Now, uh, what I teach my traders to do is something slightly advanced. Once push two is complete, my traders are taught that they can place an advance order up here before a third push materializes. So they have an, some of the traders have an order waiting in, in third push territory in advance so that they're rooting the stock. Come on, baby, come to Papa, come to Papa, come to Papa, boom! Profit taking, profit take done. Now, whether they do that on half or third or all of it is their choice, all right? So that's a very interesting point to know, all right? We got push one, boom, push two, throw that order ahead of time into push three category and root your stock on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come to papi. Come to papi. Boom. And there you go. Order filled and push three territory on one half of my position. Let's see what the half, the, the other half does. Let's see if the other half can earn us more as an example or all of it. Boom out your choice this is the three push rule now i have to give you some nuances regarding this rule okay let's look at some of the nuances regarding rule number two the three push rule there is something that i call the multi-bar slide that can make up a push so remember i told you that a push is really sounds like this a push sounds like this so watch it a push sounds like this. That's a push. Push two. All right. But this is not a push, nor is this a push, nor is this a push. So you've got three little inching up bars or slide bars. They're sliding to, they're not running to a new high. They're sliding to a new high. All right. Um, these are, individually are not pushes, but if you were to stack those three together, they would make a push like this. You see what I'm saying? So if you can stack multiple little bars together enough to achieve the size of an average push, in your stock, you can even take it on the slide, all right? So here's my point. You must have something built in your trading plan where you have a cutoff. If that's 300 and then your cutoff is half of that, meaning I can continue trading, but if I lose, I can only lose 150 from now. And then let's say you have to have a next level. Let's say you bring gains up to 500. And at 500, you now can have to go home with 300. And this is how you control yourself. These things, traders, are, these rules become habit forming and they build responsibility. The problem is that the vast majority of people out here are trading rule-less. There's anarchy in their trading, which ultimately means there's anarchy in their life. I can tell what kind of person you are just by how you trade. I can tell if you're responsible. I can tell if you're disciplined. I can tell if you keep your promises to your kids, to your spouse. I can tell all these things. It's built into what you do in the heat of the moment in the market because the market is nothing more than a replica 
a minuscule replica of life. You go into the market, you go into life. You go into the market every day, you wake up and you go into life every day. You have to protect yourself in the market, you've got to protect yourself in life. You got to look for opportunities in the market, you look for opportunities in, in life. You got to, you have to take advantage and sometimes realize your gains in the market. You got to know when to stop and 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 take your gains and enjoy the roses and take a vacation and you got to know when to do that. Now guys, I will tell you that that there are certain rules that I call um wealth rules for lack of a better term. So there, there are rules that are more technique oriented. There are rules that save you money, but then there are rules that make you a wealthier, richer trader. This is one of those rich rules. This is one of those wealth rules. You will be a wealthier, richer trader by applying the big bar rule profit rule I just told you no profits on or after after big bars now this the only exception is when you start to trade with advanced orders you may not be able to help yourself so let's say for instance when David entered here what if he automatically threw orders for sale down there in advance before that became a big bar. Now sometimes this drop can happen so fast that you can't cancel these orders before that happens. But if it's coming to your orders in the form of a fat bar, I cancel those orders. All right. Sometimes it happens so fast and violently that you can't cancel. That's the only caveat. But get those orders canceled or don't place them on fat bars. And here's the main reason why. There's over an 80% chance that fat bars deliver more follow through. Think about those odds. Over 80% of, of the time, a fat bar produces more of its own color. All right? So, this fat bar is likely to produce more. Then it produced another fat bar. This fat bar is likely now to produce more. All right? This fat bar is likely 80% or more likely to produce more. You see, this green bar is likely, this fat green bar is likely to produce more. Over 80% chance of fat bars producing more. This is so accurate that you can literally just dive into fat bars knowing that you're going to be right over 80% of the time that there's more and less than 20% time losses. And that's a huge winning strategy. But I will tell you this, I will tell you this, that at the end of the day, if you're going to make progress, you've got to ultimately stand still. You're going to have to stop moving, stop changing, Stop flip-flopping. Stop switching. Stop buying another book. Stop getting another course. Stop moving to another platform. Stop searching for another mentor. Stop looking for another seminar or another program. And you're gonna have to one day stop the search. You're gonna have to dig your heels in and start gaining some roots right where you are. Because you know what? You're gonna realize, and. If you're lucky, you will realize this. Many people don't. That wherever you go, there you are all over again. At a certain point, you got to realize I'm running from myself. That I am bad everywhere I go. And what's the common denominator? All the places are different, but I'm the same. 
and I'm getting the same results no matter where I go. So I want this to ring in your ear forever. Wherever you go, there you are again. So if you don't like what you're getting wherever you go, then it's you. You better change you. That's what's beautiful about this game called trading. It is a game of self-discovery and self-improvement and ultimately self-mastery. Because if you ever hope to have any degree of market mastery, you're going to have to have some degree of self-mastery first. It doesn't work in the reverse. I was having this conversation with my traders today. That nobody wants to change first and then get results. People say, well, you know what? If you give me results, then I'll start working on change. How, how does life work? What planet do you live on? Wait, pay me first, then I'll do the work. Really? In, in what freaking world? In what lifetime? In what life? Where do you live? Like what? Am I watching a movie right now? What movie do you live in? What movie am I watching? The heck is, what kind of Disney shit is this? Like, dude, you, you have to put something out before you get something back. You don't sit back and say, that's the problem with a big portion of the world's population is that things have moved to the point where people want first. How do you get first before you give first, before you, you put forth something out first? If you go to a park and there's a swing there in the park, right? And you want the swing to come to you. Don't you have to push the swing first? Then you get the swing coming back to you? No, people want the swing to come back to them first. I'll push when you come to me. Like, like dude, I can't help people like that. 